Hey everybody, it's Natsuki 8000 here, and I just knocked over a glass cup. Um, I am back again doing a video of my computer doing fi Bad Apple 5.1 million. I know I've already done this, but this time I, I have super clocked my computer. Like, ultra mega nuke clocked it. Um, basically, uh, my, it, it turns out my computer was never really overclocked to begin with. I thought the guy that I know who knows about computers overclocked it, but I guess he didn't. And it was at this whole time, it was at stock clock speeds of 3.4 gigahertz. That's right, it's been doing all these minis at 3.4 gigahertz stock speed. Uh, so I have took took it upon myself to, up, to um, overclock this computer to 4.4 gigahertz. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna be running Bad Apple with the computer overclocked to that. I'm not keeping these clock speeds, by the way, because the temperatures are very, very unstable when it comes to pretty much everything. Um, I'm only doing it this once. I'm never doing this again because my CPU is probably gonna get fried if I keep on doing this. So only for this video will I be doing 4.4 gigahertz until I get a better water cooler. Then I'll probably stick with these clock speeds. But for now, this is just temporary. Uh, my MIDI's from now on. All my MIDI videos will be done at 4.0 gigahertz, So My gaming, however, won't be done at 4.0 gigahertz Because the MIDI's don't seem to heat up the PC very much. Or heat up the CPU too, too much. Just gaming does. So for gaming, I'm only going to keep it at a clock speed of 3.6. Which is stable. Uh, also, not to mention Windows is unstable. Yeah, that's fun. This this uh, this overclock has caused many instabilities. Because um, I rush clocked it. As long as it runs the midis, which I did a quick test, it does. So that's fine. But yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, but first... Stuff to mention, uh, I I did a uh, I did do a test of Bad Apple 5.1 with the computer overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz, and I improved the recovery time from 4. Point, I mean from 4 from 47 seconds down to um, 41 seconds. Uh, putting up to 4.4 gigahertz, I'm suspecting will probably uh, um will probably make it so the recovery time is like 39 seconds now. Yeah, probably. It'll probably recover. It'll probably be like 39 seconds, cause every single gigahertz I seem to um, improve it by. Well, I mean, every 100 megahertz seems to improve the recovery time by one second. So, um, yeah. Oh, I did try to do 4.6 um, gigahertz, but my computer didn't even boot. It just went straight to a blue screen. So that's always fun. So yeah, this is the best I can get it. So enjoy. I'm going to be recording it with a camcorder because if I use fraps for this, um, it'll nuke my PC. And the last thing I need is my PC to be nuked because <laughs> uh, it's still fairly new. As you can see on the side, I'm having the temperature reading so I can keep track of those in case, the th in case things go south. Um... So yeah, I'm not going to be doing bad. I'm not going to be doing the window full size because I have to keep track of those temperatures. Um, so, uh, I'll sit down right here, try to keep the camera as still as I possibly can while doing this. Uh, I did a pretty good job last time. Okay, and here we go.
balls. Um, yeah, know what happened? Those temps got too high, and everything broke. Um, so yeah, that's very unstable. Very, very unstable. Oh, um, it did decently. It did pass it faster. And I can tell you right now, it would stay it would stay above 60 through the whole way until that final crash part at the end. But, yeah, it only crashed because it's... the 4.4 is not stable. So, oh well. That's what I get. It did, it did good, though. It did good. Well, um... I'm sad that it crashed at the end, but whatever. It's what happens when you got unstable windows. <laughs> Too much clock speed. Well, um, I'll see you when I, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I'll do another one. I'll do another video of this when I get a better water cooler and can take more time with that overclock to see if I can get, to see if I can get it running stably. So, it's been not to key thousand. See you next time. You know what? Actually, screw that. I want to just leave it like that. Why would I? No, no. I'm not going to just leave it like that. So what I did was I went back in and... Um... And downed my overclock speed from 4.4 .4 to 4.2. A speed that I know was running stable. Because I tested it before, so yeah. So I'm going to play the end of the song running at 4.4, I'm running at 4.2 gigahertz rather than 4.4, .4, so there's not going to be a crash this time. Here you go. I'm running at a smaller window so I could, like, um, scan through the song for the end, because Piano From Above gets really laggy when, like, the window gets really laggy when you, um, turn off the, uh, FPS limiter, but here we go. Oh, it's not gonna... I don't know why it gets so laggy when you turn off the, F the FPS limiter. <laughs> And there you go, we're ending the video for real this time, now that now that you saw the end. That's that.